for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is and then we'll find out what the outcome is going to be. So, Leo, the recent past energy, we got this Ace of Swords. And it's with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Ace of Swords, it actually can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it can be started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, maybe a job, could be a situation. But it brings about a new beginning. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go, where you really want to be. Now, the Queen of Wands is what it's paired with. This can refer to a woman. She would have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be an Aries, Leo, maybe Sagittarius. So when this is not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Could be focused on work or career. The Queen is actually positive, uplifting energy. When she stands for an actual person or a woman in your life, she's a good friend who's solidly on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, just a side note about this Queen of Wands. If you're trying to conceive, this card is one of the more positive signs that there can be. So if you're not trying to conceive... Be careful. So, the recent past energy, Leo, between you and your person. Ace of Swords, clarified by this Queen of Wands. So, for some of you, Leos, you're going through a separation. It, it could be a divorce type of separation. It could be, you're, maybe you're moving your place of residence. Maybe you're moving across country for a new beginning. It brings a new beginning. Because that's what the Aces does. And you've got somebody here on your side. This Queen of Wands is very determined. She could be egotistical, used to getting what she wants, very confident. She knows her worth. So I'm picking up that this is your person. Yeah, your person is going to make sure that this separation or this whatever it is you need to cut out, that she's going to make sure it happens, even if you don't. She will. She's very, very determined and confident that this will happen. And it, it's because you two want a new beginning together. But something has to be cut out. So that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Now let's see what's coming up for the present time. Well, we got the Page of Wands. And it's with justice. Now, the Page of Wands, they're usually warm, ambitious, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused. It can indicate that things you started some time ago, they're starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The Page actually, actually brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through. Because of this energy of easy distraction. The page of wands is also about messages of love and affection. That's coming in. Yeah, somebody's got a lot of passion. For you, they're excited about you. Or this could be someone feeling this way about you. Or you feeling this way about someone. But let's see. Let's get some clarity. It's with justice. Now, justice actually deals with the idea of karma karma, and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is going to be a direct result of your own actions or karma. Because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of some someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved with a court case. It's likely to be resolved, at least a large degree, in your favor. So, yeah, I'm getting, for a lot of you, this is a separation, divorce type of separation. I'm just getting that feel. So, for some of you, it's something else. You're moving across country. You're separating from a neighborhood that you've been in for all your life, and it brings about a new beginning. 
But because justice is here, it just reminds, this reading is starting to remind me of a, a lot of you going through a separation, a divorce type of separation, a legal type of separation. But anyway, what's coming up? Page of Wands and Clarified by Justice. So yeah, Leo's, you finally get some inner clarity. Some things are brought to light. You get some truth. And it makes you feel justified. Yeah, like justice has finally been served. Yeah. You finally get what you, you... Someone is getting what they deserve. Yeah. And it feels great. Because you got some, some truth, some clarity. Some things are brought to light. Yeah. And now you're excited. It looks like you could be reaching out to your person. I'm picking up it's this Queen of Wands. You're reaching out to them with a lot of passion. And excitement. Um, reaching out with messages of love. You're excited. You finally got some inner clarity, some truth. Justice has been served. Um, like I said, if, you, if this is a court case, it was resolved. At least a large degree in your favor. So, it you, you looks like you want to celebrate with someone. And the Queen of Wands is, like I said, 100% on your side. So, you take action towards your person. And, yeah. You feel great. Justice has been served. Now I'm picking up that's what the two of you wanted. So you can have a new beginning. And like I said, this Queen of Wands, she wants to make sure. She was going to make sure you got the new beginning. Whether you were going to put in the effort or not, she probably would have done it for you. So this is good coming up. Whatever it is, some things have been brought to light and justice has been served. You're reaching out to your person with messages of love. There's a lot of passion there with this page of wands. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Four of Wands. And we got the Page of Swords. Now, the Four of Wands, it can indicate that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. Make sure you go because you have a good time. If you have a business, it's going to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also. Although this is a positive card in the reading, it's showing that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about yourself. Although you should treat and you do deserve to have some fun, just know you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also mean that you could be moving. Maybe thinking about moving your place of residence. So it's with the Page of Swords. Yeah, the Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If, it's, if this is the case, it does represent a person who could be younger than you. Because when you hear the word page in the, tar in the tarot, that can mean a student, youth, immaturity, or someone younger than you. It often indicates that... Um, a message is coming in. Now, in this case, it's probably not what you'll want to hear because it's a page, and this page has a huge sword in their hand, and it tells us that this person might be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept criticism from others. Yeah, this page of source has a great deal of mental and physical energy. Page of source also brings conflict. Um, this person might stalk you. They do, do a lot of watching you. They keep tabs on you. They bring conflict. So, 
Yeah, this is your challenge. Four of Wands clarified by this Page of Swords. So, like I said, for some of you Leos, I'm getting that this is a legal separation from a person, from a marriage maybe. So, it's this Page of Swords that you that's that you have separated from or that you're no longer with and this person sees that you you have a new life now you got a new beginning and and things are going in your favor with this justice card here and they could see that you're with someone that you got a lot of passion for and you're excited when you're with this person because they because page of source they do watch you they know what you do they keep tabs on you and picking up this this page of source is who you're leaving behind this person you were probably married to this person because the four of wands is the marriage and commitment card and if you were not married to this person this person wanted marriage and commitment with you but they didn't get it. You moved on to this Queen of Wands. So this person might try to bring a lot of conflict and some dra add some drama to your life. Yeah. So that's a challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is so we got the strength card and it's with the eight of pentacles now the strength card with this one it's important to meditate contemplate spend some time alone even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a hundred kids do not allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear though because the outward things they'll be going all right but what's most important is keeping your head on straight not only do you have the ability but you got the responsibility so try to conquer any fears control your impulses and try try to never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do and that's the strength card now it's with the eight of pinnacles which points to necessary efforts you have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished dedication to the task is going to be important so if you let it work for its own sake it's going to be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. But the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. Because if you look at the Eight of Pentacles, the picture on the card says it all. Eight of Pentacles is a card below the word outcome. It looks like this man, he got up early in the morning or he gets up every day before sunrise. And he goes to work. And he works nonstop. It looks like it's becoming nighttime. And he's still working. He has no intentions of stopping. And on top of that, it's raining out. I don't know if you can see the raindrops, but they are huge. And he's still working and he's not stopping. So this is about a heavy work period. It's a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. So basically, Leo, the outcome strength card clarified by the Zeta Pentacles. So, yeah, like I said, this separation, whatever it is that's bringing you to a new beginning, because you cut out something or someone, it's making you feel stronger than ever it's making you feel empowered it's making you feel like wow you can finally live your best life you're ready for it so you could feel like you're finally in a relationship that's mutually supportive and it's strong there's acceptance there's patience there's compassion yeah and now you feel like you, you're able to embrace you, practice self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. So you're feeling fabulous. You're feeling strong and empowered, just ready to live your best life. 
and yeah this queen of wands if this is your your new person who you are starting a new beginning with this person really inspires you they give you passion there's a lot of passion there um there's motivation to work hard with this person there's motivation to work hard for the connection you're, you're putting in a lot of effort and energy you're mastering your craft you're mastering your work you're finally enjoying you're enjoying life and you're going hard now for the things that you want in life for you and this relationship with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this new beginning is making you really motivated and inspired. So you're going hard at whatever you do now. You're almost like a new person. You're, you're a lot stronger mentally and physically. So that is the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings... They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those so leo thank you so very much for watching i hope all of you are doing well and staying safe 